Welcome to welcome to anyways. Today we'll be talking about us. So basically it's new software known as us and they're going to be a, what they call it a web basement for a drone. Or basically it's I do not sure whether it's based on Chromium or it's a completely independent browser that is running on its own engine rather than Chromium. Because many DCs main browsers are running on Chromium, even if they don't get with Chrome instead, it's a web basement and really it's not a Chrome web basement. Another thing you will notice is this available in application available in iOS and not Android. Now my that's really a small the normal issue. The issue is whether it's really one on AI and that's what the company claims. Alright, so there are some bit technical issues with uh, the new browser. It's also getting some AI features which is very nice, but whether it can be reliable is another thing that you need to care. For example, it's launched as an unfettered experience with no net card. I mean there's not necessarily any proper uh, features available. For example, the ask browser also only bypass Google and being by like, certain links for you. So this is something really interesting and new that you can basically bypass all the browsers for all the engines. But only really people use, use the search engines to search for things. But this is going to bypass everything by showing everything in unified, a unified page, something like that. So that we don't have to you can just use AI to search the all unified stuff, whatever you want to find. Something similar to Sidebot, but it's more like a search engine, Sidebot for search engine, or AI for search engine. Something that Google won't make, but not really exact like this. But it's really amazing that it has some kind of system to uh, like open an AI generated search results. So this is, I mean, it's something like similar to this. You cannot reserve and now we find it with exact specific detail, and this is really amazing. And this is going to be you know, nice if it's, uh, the feature comes to Windows and how it works, how the search results work, and what kind of search process using this is the question that could be asked, but it could be using Google Bing and certain search engine that I'm not sure it might be able to be Dr. Go. I'm not sure. All this is basically is on its own. They all generate your engine, all that's on AI search engine, AI building, AI search engine. That's a different story. But it's use ML or not, this is another story. ML is basically machine learning. So, this uh, specific new search engine, the browser, is going to be helpful. In Stop using something else in the middleman or basically add pass part. It also will have a limit need for record for ads, so this, this is another important stuff that you need to uh, discuss about it. This application is not available on Windows, it's first coming in Windows, you can anytime join the movement by buying the Windows for it. Is. You can join this and, and choose the name for you. So basically, this is very interesting how it works and how what it's going to do. And We'll see what the friends to have to offer. Anyway, thanks for watching. We take you a piece like subscribe, comment, share, and have a nice day. If you didn't subscribe, then please consider subscribing. We take you as more videos will be coming up in the We personally thank you for watching. We take you.